How much do plumbing repairs really cost? Flat rate pricing versus TNM. So when you wanna find out how much plumbing repairs really cost, do you even know what questions to ask? So today I'm gonna show you how expensive plumbing repairs really are, but also why they're worth it. Now some plumbing companies charge TNM, time and material. That means when you call, when the plumber starts driving your way, you're getting charged. Now, to me, there's nothing wrong with that. Somebody's gotta pay that plumber to drive and you're the one who wants his services. So I think that that's not a bad deal, but it kind of depends on where the plumber really is. What if the plumber's the other side of town? He says, look, it took me an hour to get here. I've seen that happen. What I like to see happen on TNM is we have an automatic half an hour drive time. You add that to the ticket so you know that when the plumber gets there, you've already had him for half an hour. To me, that's fair. Somebody's got to pay him and you're the homeowner who wants him. I'm the employer who employs him, but I also stock that van and pay for the gas and insurance and tires and everything else. So to be honest, that's really not a bad deal. But here's the problem with TNM. You get stuck with the worst plumber. Plumbers that don't get in a rush, plumbers that the longer they take, the more money they actually make, it's really not a good deal for you. TNM is the old school way of doing it, but what's happened lately is plumbers have gone to flat rate pricing. Now there's different names for it, straightforward pricing, flat rate pricing, upfront pricing. What they're doing is they're doing what mechanics have done for years. When you call a mechanic shop and say, look, I need an alternator for a 2020 Chevrolet with a 6.6 .6 liter diesel engine, they've got a book they can look in and they can tell you it should take three hours to change that and the material costs are $500. Okay, now I'm just pulling these numbers out of someplace special to me. But think about that. Three hours labor and $500 of material. Now say that they charge $200 labor. So you're gonna get charged $600 in labor plus $500 for material. So that's an $1,100 job. I don't know that way. Why would they change math? Oh, math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. Now if they're charging you $200 an hour for labor, nothing wrong with that. If they're charging you $500 for the materials, there's nothing wrong with that. When you start putting all that together, now you know about where you're at. What if this was a TNM project? What if you took it to a shade tree mechanic who says, hey look, I get 200 bucks an hour and the parts are $500. And you think, man, 200 bucks an hour seems kinda high. Not necessarily. What if you've got a great mechanic there that can literally knock that job out in one hour? So you get charged $200 for labor, $500 for the materials, now you've got a $700 job. But say you've got a rookie mechanic. Say you've got a mechanic that doesn't really know what he's doing. Hey, Rod. So what situation do you wanna be in where you've got a plumber coming out that you really don't know what it's gonna cost, or you've got a plumber coming out that says, look, I wanna give you a price up front. You can approve it or deny it, but this is what the price is. Now, are there things that you can run into? Absolutely. Say the mechanic is getting in there to change the alternator. And I'm using a mechanic because most of us have cars, most of us have had a mechanic work on it, so we understand that. The original machine had a base plate of pre-famulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in a direct line with a panometric fam. Say the mechanic gets in there to change the alternator and he finds out, well, the alternator broke because the mounting bracket broke. So now that we're in here, we understand you're gonna to need to bracket to, this is gonna cost a little bit more. It can still happen in plumbing. And if it happens, I mean, there's a lot of things that we can't see till we get in there and work on it. Now, one thing I like about plumbing companies that have straightforward pricing and stuff like that, a lot of times they have a diagnostic fee. Hey, you know what? I really need to get some tools out and get in here and work on this for a little bit to tell you exactly what's wrong with it to give you a fair price. I guess I'm going to have to uh, quantify the 7F reading on this and that would run it through with the surface gravity viscosity. Straightforward pricing versus TNM pricing, it's not a good thing or a bad thing. It depends on how you use it. Stay till the end and I'm gonna tell you the national average or what numbers that I keep hearing from plumbers across the nation as to what they charge as an hourly rate on their upfront pricing. Because upfront pricing is based on, we know how long this should take to do, 
We know what the materials should cost. So here's what your price should be based on the hourly rate for your area. If a plumber comes out and looks at something and says, okay, here's what's wrong. I need to pull and reset this toilet. That'll take care of the problem. He's got a price on his book. He's got a book or he's got it in his iPad. He can tell you, hey, this is what we charge to do this. The way that's done, well, pulling and resetting a toilet should take an hour. Materials should be about $15. So they go through and take what their normally hourly rate is based on that book. Now, when I say that, an hourly rate, it's not really what the plumber charges an hour. You've got to figure we're in Dallas. Plumbers have about a 50% efficiency. That means half the day they're driving, half the day they're working. What is your efficiency if you're a plumber? What is your efficiency rating in the city that you work in or at the company you work in? Now, I've got a friend down the road that says his employees run about a 75% efficiency rating. And he does that because we live in a pretty small town. He said literally he can get to about any job in town in 10 to 15 minutes. And if he spaces his plumbers out right, he can keep them all close to that certain area so his efficiency rating stays higher. Now, if you're TNM, that's still not a bad deal. If you've got newer plumbers, you put them on the jobs where they can learn and grow and get better. If you've got good skilled plumbers, you put them on jobs where they can get in, get things done faster and get more work done. Straightforward pricing, upfront pricing, whatever you want to call it, versus TNM, it's really up to you. I love the idea of the task pricing, meaning, hey, here's what we're going to do. We're going to change out a kitchen faucet. Here's the price. You supply the faucet. We'll take care of it. Boom, boom, boom. It's taken care of. So if you're a homeowner, which one would you prefer? TNM, time and material, or would you prefer task pricing? I love it when they can tell me up front what I've got to do. That TNM, that can get kind of scary when you invite somebody in to work on your system and they're not going to tell you how much it is till they're done. If you're a plumber, do me a favor. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which way do you prefer working, TNM or do you prefer the upfront pricing? I talk to plumbers and plumbing companies across the nation. And what I can tell you, and this will surprise a lot of people, most people don't know how much plumbing companies really charge. Well, the hourly rates, the upfront pricing, stuff like that, it's hard to walk in and tell a homeowner, hey, we're going to charge you $350, $400 an hour. But most upfront pricing books are based on anywhere from $325 to about $400 an hour across the country. Now, I know plumbing companies that charge as much as $650 an hour. I know plumbing companies that actually work still for under $100 an hour TNM. The price across the country can vary depending on the skill level you're getting, the part of the country you're in, and what the average price is in that area. I always recommend hiring the very best plumber that you can find. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed. Man, I forgot to turn off my phone. Hey, I'm right in the middle of shooting a video. If you're a plumber, do me a favor. Leave me a comment down below on which let me know. If you're a, if you're a plumber, do me a favor. Leave me a comment down below and will let me know.